I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt this program, but we have a very important update from Silverton Primary School. Now, move. Whoa. What? Wait. You can't do this. Sure we can. Now you heard the lady. Get up. I'm back. Poor television. Straighten up. <sighs> Would you be so kind as to detach yourself from the chair? Uh, the chair. Oh, right. Enjoy yourselves. We will. Trust me. Okay. Back in June, we brought you a report from Silverton Primary School, who are taking action against deforestation. That's right, Elise. Silverton Primary School have been working on several actions that will surely raise public awareness about this very important issue. Here's Tiana with more. Hi Elise and Flozia, I'm back at Silverton with more exciting news about their deforest action. Well, how these kids been busy? Let's take a look at what they've accomplished so far. First thing was a visit to the rainforest, so the kids could get a good concept of how beautiful and important they are to the environment. After finding out about palm oil and deforestation, students worked with partners to find out which companies use palm oil in their products. Then they wrote letters to the companies asking them to switch to sustainable palm oil or alternative oil. Some students wrote to their local member of parliament calling on the government to introduce the Truth in Labeling Bill which would force companies to label palm oil as palm oil and not vegetable oil. This way consumers can make an informed decision about what they buy. Next we have two students who produced a radio interview about palm oil and deforestation which was recorded and played on the school radio program. Well what is deforestation? Another group of students have written lyrics to a well-known song to raise awareness about palm oil and deforestation. They are producing a multimedia presentation to go with it. We have several groups of students working on workshops and plays that will deliver to students from other schools at our Kids Teaching Kids Conference later this term. One student organised a tree planting day for the whole school. 300 plants were planted. We have several groups working on art pieces and claymations that will be put on the Taking It Global Deforest Action website and YouTube. Some students have developed a computer game and a deforestation simulation outdoor game. Students are making cupcakes and holding a free dress day to raise money for indigenous orangutans. Two girls are making a cookbook with recipes that doesn't use any products that contain or could contain palm oil. There are deforestation posters, displays and PowerPoint presentations that will be displayed and presented to other students to highlight the issue in the school community. A group of students attended the Big Day Out, which is a conference for 4,000 principals and assistant principals. They set up a booth and display on deforest action and got to talk to lots of people about deforestation. They were even filmed by another school for their television program. The last action will be to fundraise for the Rainforest Buyback Scheme. Students will be taking the palm oil challenge and getting sponsorship from family and friends. Students will not eat or use any products that contain palm oil or vegetable oil for 48 hours. We have a petition that will be going out to parents and their workplaces along with brochures to inform the community about this issue. Well viewers, it's amazing what kids can achieve given an opportunity. What do you think about that, Fawzi and Elise? Mm. Mm. Speechless? I'd have to agree. This is Sarah and thanks for watching. See you next time.